I'm sure a lot of my subscribers will be surprised to see me make a video about Dota 2, but over the past year it's actually become one of my favourite games. I'm sure you've all heard of Dota 2 and know what a MOBA is, so I'm not going to do my normal first impressions intro, but in 2020 Dota's gone through some big changes to spice things up. Each player has their own personal courier to bring their items now, as opposed to each team having one courier. The old healing shrines were removed and replaced with a teleport shrine that can be captured by either team and jungle creeps have a chance of dropping neutral items of increasingly higher tiers as the game goes on, as well as some general map changes. My overall thoughts and pros and cons will be at the end of this video if you're not interested in watching my gameplay, and in this video I'm playing on the Southeast Asia servers. So as you can see from my abysmal rank, I'm not the best Dota player in the world but I plan on climbing and I plan on improving. 527 hours in Dota, so by Dota standards, that's not really that much. Let's see if we can win some games. I'm gonna play Disruptor, it's probably my best hero. So Sand King's gonna take this rune, I'm gonna steal this one. Thank you, success. Laning against a Sand King and a Monkey King. Bully this Monkey King a bit. AM seems to be doing a pretty good job. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, great, we've got him. Come on, tick him down, tick him down. Ah, oh, Monkey King has like no regen. So I'm gonna pull this lane so the lane pushes towards our tower and it's more dangerous for them. Come on, creeps. And then we pull this one over here and it should deny the entire wave of creeps. That's XP that the enemy team don't get. Nice, the enemy team aren't looking at the clock. Yoink. Yoink. Right, we're gonna do a gank glitch. Here we go, let's kill this fucking Sand King, finally. 10 minutes, hopefully easy two runes. Hello there. Oh my god, yes please. Thank you. Got the courier. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, that's a beautiful fucking kinetic field, yes! <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Nah, he's dead. Got my mana boots, stack this camp. Let's pull over here and grab the bounty rune. Shit, I didn't see the sniper there. I'm dead. Fuck me. Big damage, big damage. Static storm, let's kill him, nice. Stack this. Oh, fuck me. Go back. Ooh, heal. Fuck me. Kill PA. Kill the PA. Oh my god, he's not gonna live, is he? GG. Actual GG. Right, let's glimpse the sniper. He got greedy. GG. Let's glimpse this one back. Trapper. She's dead. Let's use the net. Beautiful. Oh my god, this PA is a fucking monster. Come on, big damage. Big damage. Big damage. There it is. I, I don't know. Why well, you hesitated, Lich? That was an easy kill. That was a big fucking kill. That PA was getting fat. Definitely going Yules to control this PA. Monkey. Okay, I'm dead. Just put... Okay. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. We save AM. We can save AM. So in this downtime where there's not fights, I'm just trying to take the farm on the map that the carries aren't taking. Glimpse sniper. Oh god, that went horrible. Fuck. Glimpse, glimpse! Go back! Oh, okay. Fuck's sake. This PA is scary. Oh, fuck me, dude. This PA. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I wish I had buyer back. Static Storm. Oh, okay. Just secure that fucking kill. Big damage. Big Static Storm. Come on. Where's the follow up? Lads. Come on. Oh fuck. Get the fuck out. Oh, oh my god, that was fucking scary. <laughs> oh man. Get over here! Keep locking that PA down. Kill her! Yes! Big fucking kill. That was a really nice glimpse. Run, Beast Master. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they're fucked. That's GG, surely. That's surely GG. That's a dead sniper right there. And I think that's the win. I love playing Disruptor. He feels so effective at catching the enemy off guard if one of them gets ahead. Like the glimpse on the PA, he really wasn't expecting that. It was such long range as well. And then we kind of snowballed from there. Other than the anti-mage, fairly even game in terms of gold. Let's do a Jakiro game. Oh my god, it looks like they've got a Smurf Monkey King. He's won 18 and lost 2 in the last 20 matches. This is going to be a hard game. Let's go for the steal. You suck. Oh my god, I didn't even get it. That's a horrible start. Oh my god, is he going to... Okay. Will we get him with the burn? Alright, let's start stacking camps for this axe. Can we kill him? Is he gonna burn to death? Oh my god, nice. Okay, let's help axe take this. Oh shit. This is not going too good. Oh god, there's a Meeper here as well. We run. Oh my god. Not good. Oh my god, this axe is fucking horrendous, dude. Every every axe I've met at this MMR doesn't understand what Dazzle does. Nice. Well played. I'm gonna take this. Stack this one. Jakiro farms really well for a support. Gotta be dead. Nice. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. This Shadow Fiend is carrying. He is fed. So he's just gonna burn down. Oh, let's kill her. Worth. Oh, he's walking in my fire. Beautiful. I got a double kill from that. Oh my god, they're wiped. This is going good. That's it, Dazzle. You can burn. Oh, beautiful. That's so much damage. Let's put some wards here since we're attacking the top tower. They already have a ward. That's a dead Meepo. Right in my fire. CM's dead. Okay, I'm gonna go back. 
ディオ向かってくるのか逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのかおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおら Put him in the air. Can we solo kill the Monkey King? LOL! <laughs> nice try, dude. <laughs> what happened? Jeez, oh my god, this this game was a massacre. There we go, that's mega creeps. Big damage. Another kill. GG! I mean, it was a rough lane, but. We came through in the end. I almost had the same net worth as Axe. So this game, I'm gonna play one of the newest heroes, Snapfire. Really fun hero, has a crazy ultimate. Oh shit, we're against Sumail. Okay, the clockwork has only lost one game, ever. This is gonna be a hard game. Click, click. We didn't even get it, fuck's sake. I'm just trying to harass the enemy right now. Big damage. This hero is really good at trading. Big damage, fuck me, that was good. That was a nice trade. Let's go for that play again soon. Big damage again. Come on, let's finish him. Beautiful. Oh my god, Snapfire is really fun. Motherfucker. Big damage. Okay, I'm out of mana now. Now I need to run. I think we're winning this lane so far. Two Wraith Bands versus not a whole lot else. Take some farm for myself. Got myself an Ocean Heart, pretty big item for me. Lots of XP. PL's doing fine, I'm just gonna stack some camps at this point. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, fuck's sake. I got clockworked. Let's try and help mid. Kill! Kill! Okay, I got him. Oh man. Right, I've got my level 6 now, so I can do big damage. Kill this fucking clockwork. He's surely dead. Nice. Kill this Queen of Pain. Nice. Okay, at least we got the quap. Oh my god, dive further, please. Oh, fuck me. Help me! Oh, thank you, Dazzle. Let's shotgun this motherfucker to the face. Well played. Dead Earth Shaker. Oh fuck's sake. Poor Sniper, they're really focusing him down. Go on lads, cut him off. Come on. Oh, that's a big kill. Am I going for more? Oh, perfect time for the ulti. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Give me that damage. Gonna jump over that. I'm gonna take the double damage just so they can't have it. Steal their rune. Let's take all the bloody CS on the map. Let's buy some smokes. Grab the shrine. Oh, 
Oh my god, beautiful. Come on. Kill the Shrak. Can he get out of there? TP top. Dragon Lance into Butterfly second item from Sniper. I don't think I've seen that before, but okay. That's a deadless Shrek right there. Oh fuck, Sniper. That's a shit position to be in, lad. Okay. Oh, we got Lashrak anyway. Oh shit. Go on, PL. Nice. Okay. Backwards. Big damage. Well played. Earth Shaker's dead. Oh my god. Take the shrine. My team's gonna push. They're all wiped. I don't see how we're gonna lose this game, but you never know. Okay, you've got to die now. That's dead shaker. Jump, run, heal, heal. Here we go, big ulti. Oh fuck, I got stopped. Nice stun. Really fun game. Oh my god, I want to play Snapfire again. That is one fun hero. It's my second game I've played of her. Did you enjoy this match? Good team coordination. I liked that one. Everyone on our team did pretty good, except for the sniper. The sniper was the second lowest net worth as the mid laner. Okay, so these three games went pretty well, but things don't always go well in Dota. This is a game that spikes your emotions from epic dopamine producing highs to absolute hopeless rage inducing lows. Some games you'll have a nice friendly team Team and others you'll have someone trying to throw the game from minute one. For the sake of realism, here's some footage of when things aren't going good. This is gonna be a rough fucking game. Oh my god. Bristleback's decided he doesn't want to lane anymore. I, d I don't know why. I wish I could figure it out. See if I can help him. We turn. Fuck's sake, you just look at the map, Shadow Fiend! Oh my god, the Slark is level 7, almost 15 minutes into the game. They're all just focusing kills, they're not farming at all. Run after him so I can bounce you, you fucking moron! Awful Bristleback. Slark level 11, doesn't have a Diffusal Blade after 24 minutes. Yeah, like, how do you come back from this? The other support on my team doesn't know what a ward is, so he won't help out with buying sentries. It's games like this where I just don't know what to do as a support. Oh my god, they're diving our base at 27 minutes and we're getting wrecked. You can't win them all, can you? Bloody hell. Fuck this shit, I'm out! <laughs> they're all coming for me. Oh fuck, dude, they're moving so fast. Run! 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 Oh, jump in, jump dude, jump! Jump! Fuck off! <laughs> no! That was not a good game of Dota. Support Zeus, support Lena. I'm sure they're both going to be taking farm. There's not going to be any farm on the map. Brilliant, the Zeus has taken my last hits because of course he is. Fuck's sake, Zeus, you queue as support. Fucking stop. I'm going to report this Zeus after the game. You don't queue as support and then just fucking take the carry's last hits. Absolute retard. And now our mid lane is disconnected. Because of course they have. You queue as support. You solo bitch. This is the kind of player that makes a game worse by him being in it. Oh my god, they're so far ahead. This is why you don't have five carries on a team in Dota. There's not enough farm on the map for five carries on a team in Dota. Leave me alone, Bristleback. I hate this hero so much. 
Oh, dude, what a horrible game of Dota. Oh my fucking god. So after playing Dota 2 for a few hundred hours, my thoughts on the game are as follows. Graphically, I think it's by far the best looking MOBA on the market and has an art style that's aging quite well. In Dota 2, you don't have to pay to unlock any heroes, they're all free and spending money feels truly optional. Compared to other MOBAs, it feels like the possibilities in Dota are almost endless due to the crazy items and abilities the game has, as well as the added depth of creep manipulation, you can stack jungle camps, block creep waves deny your own creeps, you can use your courier to get vision or bait the enemy, you can cut trees or even trick the enemy with illusions. From a strategic point of view, it's a really beautiful game and no other MOBA really comes close in this regard. If you don't have much time to play, you can play turbo mode which is a lot more laid back and the games are faster. In this mode, gold and XP are accelerated so there's a lot more team fighting. The heroes in Dota 2 feel really unique and there's heroes for every level of play. Want something super simple? Pick Sniper or Crystal Maiden. Want a hero that literally has 10 abilities? Pick Invoker. I really like the overall gameplay in Dota 2. It feels smooth, well animated, and once you've played a bit, it's easy to see what's going on in team fights. I also like how quickly you're able to move across the map with the mobility items such as Boots of Travel, Blink Dagger, Force Staff, and so on. The game has a demo mode where you can practice any of the heroes with any item or build you like. You can even do this whilst waiting for a game. There's an arcade mode with tons of custom games such as 12v12, Pudge, Hook Wars or Overthrow. The game has a built-in spectator mode so you can watch your friends or pro players use free camera or player perspective camera so you can see exactly how someone's playing the game from mouse movements to camera control. The biggest issue with Dota 2 is that from a new player's point of view it's probably one of the worst and hardest games to get into and most of the time you're going to face a lot of toxicity and even people reporting you in games. The tutorial or lack thereof in Dota 2 is an absolute joke. There's nothing in game that teaches you about warding, jungle stacking, how to pull creep waves, how neutral items work, or even how to select an item build guide to follow when you're in game. To me, it's unbelievable that to get this information, you need to go to YouTube or external websites and look for guides. One of the biggest reasons the new player experience is so fucked in Dota 2 has to do with the prevalence of smurfs. Smurfing basically refers to skilled players making a new account to stomp people of a lower MMR than them. Honestly, this is a problem in pretty much every competitive game and I can't really think of a solution, so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below. Aside from smurfs, the matchmaking in Dota 2 also seems a bit fucked for new players. When I first started playing, the game was queuing me into Archon and Legend rank players almost every game. It was a miserable experience and it was until maybe 150 hours that I actually started having a bit of fun. Valve doesn't support the game as well as they could, they have between 20 or 30 devs working on Dota 2, which is hardly anything for such a successful game. It seems like outside of esports there's not much marketing, and with player numbers at an all time low, the community is worried about the future of the game. As with any MOBA or competitive game, it can sometimes get toxic in chat, but you have the ability to mute everyone on both teams, so in the end it comes down to how you deal with it. Overall, I really love Dota 2 and it's probably the most addictive game I've ever played. When I first started playing it, I fucking hated it, absolutely despised the game and would have preferred to play League of Legends every day of the week, but after slowly learning the game, sticking to a few simple heroes and finally getting over the painful part of the learning cliff, I think it's the best MOBA on the market overall. If you compare it to League of Legends, I'd say League is more reactionary, fast paced and has a lot more skill shots, but in Dota 2 it's way more strategic and focused around map awareness, game knowledge and team coordination. Where Dota 2 is severely lacking is in the new player experience. Valve needs to make a full tutorial for the game, they need to fix matchmaking for new players and they need to do something about smurfs. But that's it for this video guys, let me know your thoughts on Dota 2 in the comments below. Are you a fan of the game? How was your experience? Experience as a new player, let me know. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.